ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tom Seams. I'm the administrator for the Whitmer Career and Technology Center. Hi, everyone. This is Jennifer Bronikowski, principal of Whitmer High School. We're coming to you uh, recording from the WTMR studio today. We're video recording our podcast for the first time. Welcome to the Principal of Things. Jennifer, we're in the WTMR studio. How about the acoustics in here? It's really a fabulous space. And what makes it even better is that Ava Thoman, who was with us before. Yeah, previous episode. Um, Can't wait to get her back in here. Is sort of the boss of us right now. Oh, yeah. She's telling us what to do. She is lighting. She has altered some things right before we came. She was telling Mr. Podcast. Pickard what to do a little bit, too. With pride. Can you warm up this light a little? Mm-hmm. He's going to wait. Oh, he did it anyway. Yeah. How, yeah. About, how about the funny part of that when she said warm and i absolutely indicated i don't want to sweat i don't want to be any hotter than i already am correct um and that it actually was a discussion about the tone of the, the light tone of the light yeah um so here we are uh recording our podcast uh, again from wtmr studio um what an asset for our students um what a great thing and uh i was able to share a lot about our, our ctc at our ctc advisory uh, meeting that we had yesterday morning. So can you tell me a little bit about, or the listener, a little bit about the structure of that event and then how it progressed into what it was yesterday? So every program uh, in the state of Ohio, every career tech program is required to have an advisory board. Um, at a former district where I worked, we actually held a breakfast. Um, and so the idea would be to invite all of those advisory boards in, have everybody kind of here in one place. And then um, selfishly, I get to use them kind of, kind of as a stakeholder group or an advisory group for our Perkins uh, purposes mm-hmm. and have everybody gather at once. So uh, to my knowledge, uh, the CT program here has never really brought all of those groups together. Um, for sure, the teachers that are here in our programs now have never had that experience. Experience. Um, and so we invited everyone in. Um, we started with breakfast at eight o'clock. And then I gave a, about a 30 to 45 minute presentation, um, just kind of recapping some of the important things, looking at our report card, um, looking at our enrollment data, and just uh, j- j- really being open and transparent, um, reaching out in future dates to get some feedback on some things so that we can prepare um, to support our students and our staff. Um, and our local businesses um, with the programs that we offer. And so, um, yeah, after that, the the individual advisory boards then went to each program. Um, All but two went back to their lab space uh, because that was a good way to get in and kind of see what we have to offer Mm -hmm. and what we have going on um, and then have some discussion from there. So this, I thought about this yesterday, and I don't know that we can do it for this school year in the staff meetings that we have left, but I feel like next year, about the same time, once the um, report card is out and we have been given an opportunity to dissect some of the data, that maybe you have a presentation Mm -hmm. to the staff about what's happening with your report card, and then I know that part of the CTC report card is influenced, it influences the sure. Whitmer card, yeah. but I would really like to have our a presentation to our staff. I think we still could. So even this year, I'd be willing, if we if we have another in-person opportunity, um, we'd be willing to share that. I actually ran into it where uh, some of the data that, that I was hoping that we would be able to present, I was only able to get by the 1st of November. So it was kind okay. of a quick turnaround. I was okay. surprised by that. I thought we'd have it earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, so for current data um, I'd absolutely be willing uh, and one thing I heard from from staff that was on our actually teaching professions group we had a number of teachers there um, one stopped and told me and just said this is stuff I think I should know okay um, but I never ever have um, and I, 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 I'm so glad to hear you say that because that was suggested that that this be shared out um, and it validates you know. my thought that yeah. the the information is important but I think when when we get the information we also know that educators in the classroom have so much going on yeah, yeah. that I don't know that we we want to but but what it is is a presentation of material yeah. there's really just for their knowledge or just to see where which direction the ship is going and why we're going that way so I I think maybe you're right we take a look at the remaining and just times l- that we have left you know just see and 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 if it fits great and if it doesn't then like you said we work it in um, and even to share you know uh, any information is good information right mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. um, however we get that 
Um, it, it, maybe it's worth worth asking BLT, or maybe it's presented to BLT first, and they say, "Hey, this is kind of where we'd like mm-hmm. to see it fit in." Mm-hmm. Um, because I, I and I think um, being able to ask questions and just have an understanding. Wow, I didn't know we did that in our own place, mm-hmm. right? And I've heard mm-hmm. that a couple of times already this year, and so that's that's always exciting when you can educate, and it's only going to help further our mission and, and getting connect kids connected to employment, enlistment, and enrollment. So, task for us: mm-hmm. take a look at what yeah. times we have available. Sure, and figure out a way, best way to roll it out. Absolutely. Okay. Um, a busy week this week. We had uh, family contact time on Monday. We did. Um, and and so our uh, we had that run. So family contact time, in for, known by most places as parent-teacher conferences, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, happens uh, for us. This year was at the high schools between 10 and 1 mm-hmm. um, a.m. to p.m. and then an hour break and then 2 to 6 uh, for families to come in and either meet on Zoom or by phone uh, or, or come in live in and person really and meet with the, our teachers. The, the family choice yeah um how how we can best connect with them and other schools around us bedford is one uh, perrysburg is another who use the um, ptc fast system and previously we had teachers create sign up genius links and then we would send those links out to families which was an okay process for us um but when teachers brought to our attention that there is this other platform that we could use we did a little investigating and we use that platform this time seven through 12. Now we did have some hiccups and I know that um, I I think something we can do better next time is send more regular notifications to teachers about how the sign up is going and they could look at a snapshot of their whole schedule. And we will definitely do that better next time. Um, But Stephanie Ewing, who is a secretary with us here at Whitmer just did an outstanding job of front loading all of the information because it's it's data it's data input the teacher information the times of the conferences um so luckily she was up for up to the task and um i I really think it was a great tool for families i uh i've I've heard positive i I haven't heard anything negative right Mm -hmm. that's always a good sign Mm -hmm. um but i think teachers liked it and like you said some tweaks i think we're going to be right in um in perrysburg uh where i formerly taught there we essentially said teachers hey we're going to send this out on this time at this Mm -hmm. date and then we're going to do it again at this time on this date so it wasn't necessarily a right but but they knew when to expect mm-hmm. um and then i think you and i talked about just having a, a specific time for parents like hey this is going to be the last time that we're able to sign up that was a... i think there were some rolling signups and, yes. and folks could mm-hmm. kind of come in um but i know there's a time where you can just set it to hey we're not taking any more uh conference schedules at this time um and i think that's just a a, a process for us as administrators and teachers um just structuring our contact time mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. literally structuring that time where we're accessible to families and uh and to and, use this and, yeah past example our conferences were on a monday so i really believe that a friday cutoff would have made a lot of sense mm-hmm. that way teachers can prepare accordingly and if a family realizes oh i'm off i can come in they can always call the main office and we could connect yeah kind of look at the schedule yeah. call the teachers yeah. is it okay if the parent connects with you at 3 yeah. 40. so we could still do some of that sure. um but I, I do feel like i think some teachers were caught a little off guard like oh i didn't know that i, I had definitely an heard that too mm-hmm. yeah um but our teachers are great uh, again i didn't hear any complaints mm-hmm. um lots of people being helpful and and so um yeah parent teacher or ptc fast uh super thing and i'm we're glad keeping that we're, it yeah it's a keeper for <laughs> yes. sure for sure uh and and coming up tomorrow night we have our uh preview night preview night and this is an event it's one of my favorite events because it's an opportunity for us to showcase some of the awesome things that are going on here Um, and it's an opportunity for students who are considering where they're going to high school or even if they know they're coming to Whitmer come on in take a look at things that are happening um, get a lay of the land get a feel Mm -hmm. of the space so yeah very very exciting we have um, a QR code process this year so that people come in we will actually have some paper copies of maps and yeah. directions and where things are going to be. But we also have a QR code for them. We have 10 questions. And then when people submit the 10 questions, we will do a random drawing and then have five winners. That's awesome. Who can get some Whitmer swag. I'll make sure to have some other swag too mm-hmm. available. Um, and we have some sweet treats too from Elizabeth Special Day on Clement oh, Street. Awesome. They do a great job for us. So we will have some individually wrapped cookies for folks. I think, uh, and I've heard this and I know you know this, um, the more positive um 
on-site visits that a student has, it exponentially increases their uh, chances of coming to that place. So uh, one thing here in Northwest Ohio, especially in the Toledo area, our students have a lot of options where they can attend mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know that this year uh, we, uh, as a team and as a 712 team, and I think as a district, have done a more diligent job of, of advertising that we're doing mm -hmm. this, uh, mm -hmm. getting the word out to families um, in a different way. So I'm excited to see what our turnout looks like, um, positive or negative. I wanna, I wanna know how many people are gonna come and show up. Mm -hmm. And we've thought about ahead of time finding out, right? Getting a number and having a baseline and, yes. and then knowing how to make some some changes from there, so. And we've also marketed a little bit differently. So the all call will be going out today, just as a reminder to families oh, that's awesome. that, that it is tomorrow. However, we, the signage is around yeah. more than it was last year. So I think we're learning where people are and trying to make sure that we're putting information. We, we advertised uh, digitally through one of our mm -hmm. uh, local news stations from another local news station. We uh, advertised on, uh, on on TV, on mm -hmm. broadcast. Uh, we also did some advertising at our local mall. Um, we had some leftover advertisements, and I didn't let you know this, but we I sent them over to the junior. I think maybe I did. Mm -hmm. I sent them over to the junior highs for them to just stick up around the cafeteria. Love and, and offices and entrances and, and again just more right getting the word out about what we do here uh, so, because in the end what do we want we want students to be where they're going to be successful mm -hmm. um we know that's here at whitmer but and we're very proud of that and i'm um, even thinking we were hanging uh, our students do awesome banners for our homecoming banner contest and we decided this year let's keep them yeah. so we can reuse them and i was looking at our anime club banner mm -hmm. and i think to myself that that club in and of itself is going to be something that interests a student. Oh, 100%. Who's coming from someplace else because yep. it's not a club that everyone has. So it, I, I just am very proud of the things we will be able to have on display. Are tomorrow. you hanging those in the field house? We actually have them right when you come out of the field house, mm -hmm. down the Oh, perfect, the center hallway. hallway. Space yeah, beautiful. The, That's gonna be great. The, you know, I'm really hallway. excited to see how, the, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm excited mm -hmm. that, I, I, I do like this event. Mm -hmm. um, and now it's a lot of work. I it, do. I do want to say that too. I think absolutely. it's a lot of work. Even um, we will have content area teachers here. Um, that CTE teachers yep. will be here yep. having hands on things. So I, I do acknowledge too that it's a lot of work. So I don't want the listener to. No, this know, is not an easy one. This no. is not a just show up and do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, traditionally, most places around here will call it an open house, right? Mm -hmm. So this is our open house. We consider a little different. That's when we're welcoming welcoming our families that mm -hmm. attend here, so they can come take a look around. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is our preview night. This is our showcase. This is us showing off for mostly our community members, right? Um, but to anybody that wants to come see what we got a going on. A long time ago, we had this event called um, KIA Kids in Action. Mm -hmm. And I almost feel like for us, the way we want Preview Night to run is our students in action. Like yeah. this is literally oh, what sure. happens at Whitmer High School. Yeah. This is what our students are doing. And I, I think when we talk about events, especially that are... Um, we always want our students to do the talking for us, right? And, and I think the more that we work, the more we're going to get uh, closer and closer to that. Question, I wonder what culinary is going to have on... I have no idea. Have in store. Last I, I year do was know that pancakes. I just... As pancakes last year. Uh, I do know I just sampled some cookies and brownies. So I don't okay. know. I don't, I'm not, That's gonna I have be no interact. idea. Okay. They usually do like to do a live kind of interaction. Mm -hmm. um, I think they've done crepes before, I think. Mm -hmm. they, and sometimes mm -hmm. crepes, I think, turn into pancakes. But um, <laughs> no, Especially in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do a crepe. Paper thin. Um, I know you wanted to recognize uh, our art department. Oh, yes, our art department. I feel like we always have um, a local artist a student a whitmer artist who is being um given accolades for something because our whitmer art department and our teachers are continuing to allow our students opportunities to put their work into showcases and then our students win and we get the opportunity to go um, hand out awards or watch them receive awards yeah. and this evening is the focus art show um, the principal awards and the superintendent awards will be given at the Toledo Museum of Arts Glass Pavilion. So that's a, a great event, and it's it schools from all over our area. So it's really awesome to see our current students being recognized for the work that they've done. And a beautiful space, too. That, our, oh, that glass pavilion is, it is, is pretty cool. It is. It's really something else. My brother-in-law actually did some of the work at oh. the glass pavilion. So whenever I'm there or I'm near there, I like to take a quick 
selfie or a Good shot work. of something and, yeah. and send it to my brother-in-law, Bob. Good luck, bro, Bob. Yes. Uh, bro-in-law, Bob. Um, so any, uh, what are you looking forward to next? We always ask our, our guests this, but what, what are you celebrating? What's coming up next that you're excited about? I feel like this week is one of those weeks that there's a lot happening here, like the art show tonight and then preview night. Um, I get to babysit my grandson on Friday evening. Yes, so Brooks like it's night. just like this these three actually it's Liam oh, this weekend. Yes. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Liam oh, on Friday. A little baby so Liam. yeah, in any case, it's like a, a lot happening. It's all yeah. good stuff. Um so I might be going to a concert. I don't go to a lot of I I go you to very not. few concerts. Okay. Um Metallica. You are is the in, concert, actually. Is I, kind of how I look at. Well, you I appreciate a, that. Right. My 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 whole life's a concert. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's crazy. So Metallica. Metallica's coming to yes. Ford Field. Stephen Frank, um, our student who's here, he's yeah. a senior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I believe he would love a Metallica concert. I am. I'm so excited. Um, I've never seen them. I haven't been to many concerts. They're also with a band called Five Finger Death Punch, uh, who I also enjoy. Uh, so I think we're going to go as long as I secure I'm a babysitter. I'm going to not have you repeat the name of that second band because it feels disturbing. It does. It is. Mm -hmm. I will not tell you the opening act. I will tell you off air of the other one because that's even more. Is it heavy? Like, is it? Like... So people call it metal. They do okay. call it metal. I, could, I think Metallica, uh, and I'm. they're never going to hear this podcast. Sorry, James, Lars, <laughs> Rob. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I'm um, sorry, James, Lars, Rob. Uh, I can't help you. They're Metallica to Kirk, me. Kirk, thank you. Uh, they'll never, they understand me. they're never going to hear this, but I would consider them more heavy rock. I, I'm more okay. of a heavy rock. If you had to pick a genre and say, this is, seems it's heavy rock. So, um, you know, along the lines of like three days, grace falls under that, you mm -hmm. know, AC, I would say ACDC is not metal. They're heavy, heavy rock. Anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So I would put them more in when this. When would that be? It's at 6 PM Sunday evening. So the it's going to wind up being PM? late. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're doing so a two a... night show. They're doing okay. it to Friday night and Sunday night. Okay. Um, where? At Ford Field. So it's oh. not like it's super far away. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be my first concert there. So I think I have, Kayla had said she would go and I, I confirmed with her today. I had tickets in the cart at one point and I waited. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, you know, this is music that's loud. And she goes, yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm nervously excited about that. It's sometime soon and maybe not today. Uh, I need to finish telling the listener the story about the, the three week 300. Yes, leave it there. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, leave it there because this is a tease because a, this story is good. It's a three week 300. Uh, yeah. Listener, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. Again, uh, not live, but live, mm -hmm. uh, recorded without edit from the WTMR studio. Um, being in here, being around students always helps me make it a great day. Bye, Zeems. See you, Bronikowski. Thank you.